are you, Dave? Good, Javier. How are you doing? Thank you. Dave Sarkoski, uh, CEO of uh, Hyundai America. And uh, we're driving one of your new cars. We and uh, what a pleasure to have the opportunity to spend some time with you. And, and this car, which, by the way, uh, it's fantastic in every way that we've, uh, we've experienced it today. It's classified as a compact car, right? Yeah, it's classified. <laughs> it's actually got mid-size interior space, so it's amazing. It's, uh, this is our, our compact segment car. It sure doesn't feel like it's sitting in here, though, does it? No, and uh, the thing that, uh, yeah, I mean, I think first thing, like we're looking one right in front of us now. I mean, the design, I mean, it's, it makes it look like it's a really expensive car. Yeah, we, we talked this morning a little bit and we compared it to a, a BMW 3 Series and an Audi A4, and it's actually bigger than those vehicles, but it, it looks every bit as classy. And the, the appointments and the finishing touches, it's just, it's an elegant, beautiful vehicle. Yeah. And all the engineering, all the design and all that, I think Hyundai is still able to offer that value that it's been like the core of, of the, the company, right? That, that has really been our trademark, is that we're, we're going to give you um, um, more for your money. You know, not more for less, but you're going to buy our cars and you're not going to make any compromises and you're going to have uh, great vehicle dynamics as you can feel now. You're going to have great performance. You're going to have great safety features. You're going to have great technology. You're going to have beautiful styling. You're going to have a fair price. And it's all going to come together. You don't have to make a compromise with our vehicles. And that's something that we've, well, we've built our brand on and it's something that this car really epitomizes. Yeah. And with the new design, um, I feel at least, I mean, I'm sure you, you feel the same way. I think Hyundai finally has got an identity. I think you can see the cars out there like Took on it can be anything all, all the other models and you say okay that's a hyundai and people no longer have a problem with that it, exactly right it and it's it's taken us a while to get here and uh um, we've got our own 30 years <laughs> yes 30 years next month and we've got our own design language and when you see our vehicles on the road especially with the grill they're all starting to look yeah um there's a very similar language between them they don't look identical but you can tell it's a hyundai and it's got a presence on the road and it's got a great stance on the road and people notice it and it turns heads and it's very important um so and we're really proud of this vehicle so this this uh car the elantra um, it's one of the more important cars, even though in the industry the crossovers are, uh, are taking over. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's, it's been crazy. Last year the, the, the total total industry was up about 6%, but cars were down 2% and trucks were up 12%. So trucks are booming and cars are contracting. Within that, um, uh, the compact segment where the Elantra plays is still fairly solid. About 2.2 million vehicles every year are sold. Um, Elantra is our number one selling vehicle. We sell over 200,000 a year, and uh, it's really, really important to us. And we continue, we expect to continue to have this be our number one seller. We build it in Montgomery, Alabama, so it's a home built vehicle and uh, extremely important segment. Um, it's going to be a very big, busy segment this year. We've got a brand new um, Honda Civic, yeah, which is very nice. Yeah. We got a Chevy Cruze, which is brand new. And between us and Cruze and Civic, that's about a third of the segment is brand new. So a lot of activity going on. And we feel very confident that, that with this car, uh, we can either maintain or improve on our sales performance and our segment share. Yeah, I like the way you presented uh, the information this morning in terms of uh, how transparent you are, like telling, like, we benchmark event against Toyota in terms of like the manufacturing and like, right. benchmark against um, other brands in terms of uh, technology and all that. And but still, again, like you have your own identity with the car and like even new things for this car, right? Yeah, there it's it's funny. Um, about a year and a half ago, we introduced um, the all-new Genesis, and I can remember standing in front of the media and introducing things like automatic emergency braking and lane departure warning and lane departure assist and rear cameras and rear uh, traffic view and things like that that were Hyundai first or segment first on a premium vehicle. So here we are a year and a half later and we're talking about the same technology yeah, that's now in a compact car less. that starts for less than $20,000. It's just amazing and, and that's another part of the, one of the uh, hallmarks of Hyundai is what we call the democratization yeah. of technology, taking great technology that saves lives, that prevents accidents, and making it available to all people, not just those that can afford a luxury car. So we think it's important in these vehicles that you've got the same level 
uh, of uh, preventative safety um, features, uh, and it just it works beautifully. Yeah, but you're not only offering like technology that saves lives, but like the safety things that are so impressive. But also like, for example, the Clarify uh, software in the audio system that cleans up all the files and all that. I mean, that things that most manufacturers wouldn't even think about doing, right? Right. I mean, we have um, Android Auto and CarPlay available in this vehicle, which, you know, a lot of people of the younger generations, they no longer want to learn how to operate um, <laughs> the, the, the sound systems of a car. They just want to replicate their smartphone in the car, and that's what we do now with CarPlay and Android Auto. And and we, we've got um, a sound system that basically, um, you know, recreates some music that, 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 get, that gets compromised when it's compacted, and it provides I mean, a world-class sound system in this vehicle. And again, like you say, one of the reactions that we get more often than anything else when we're talking about Hyundai is one of surprise. That's a Hyundai? I know. Uh, you get this in a Hyundai? It only costs that? I can't believe it. So we always want to try to surprise and delight. And it's those types of features, I think, that make a difference in this vehicle. Yeah, that also makes uh, some people change their, their uh, idea about Hyundai. Finally, I mean, people ask me all the time, what car should I buy? And I honestly know because you're here, I was telling like take a look at the Hyundai, take a look at the Kias. I mean, they offer the best value for the money, honestly. But still, some people think, ah. Oh, but now, this all this packaging that you're doing, I think, is very smart in terms of like changing that perception. Well, we need more people like you that say that to people. But <laughs> that's but, true. You know, I mean, we're, we're, we're we're impatient, and, yeah. and and like I said, we're going to be in this market 30 years next month, and that seems like a long time to establish yourselves. But in reality, our Japanese competition has been here over 50 years. Yeah. Our domestic competition and they have more capacity, has right? been here more than 100 years, and and yeah. so it just takes time to to you know our our awareness levels of the brand and our consideration levels of the brand. There's still a gap versus Honda and Toyota, and we've got to close that gap. And we think the best way to close that gap is with sensational product. And, and we're going to do it one car at a time. And this car is leaps and bounds ahead of the vehicle it replaced. And the new Sonata was leaps and bounds ahead of the vehicle it replaced. And all of a sudden, you're just not going to be able to ignore us. Because you're going to see these vehicles, you're going to turn your head, and you're going to say, what was that? And all of a sudden, Hyundai's going to become top of mind. And, and it doesn't happen overnight, and it is happening. We've seen, yeah. you know, we've had seven straight years now of record sales volumes. And, and and we are, I mean, a lot of people don't believe in the United States, but we are uh, the, the fifth largest um, automotive company worldwide. So we are very, very big globally, and we're growing very fast in the United States, and we're going to accelerate that growth. Yeah, to the point that it's becoming a problem, right? I mean, you have more demand than supply, right? That's, I mean, it's, yeah, it's a problem I like to have, but absolutely but true. But it, it cannot be a problem for a long time either. That's right. It, and, and really, like I said, it's really a mixed issue for us. We have historically been uh, predominantly a car company. And the market growth now is coming predominantly from the truck side, so we're very rapidly shifting production from cars to more crossovers to help meet market demand, and that's going to help us uh, with our with our with our growth for sure. So, in this car, the Elantra, um, this is not only the only model you can offer. I mean, you still have the GT, which is like the hatchback, right? Kind, but you're offering something else in the future, right? We have, yeah, we'll have a sport edition that comes out out in the future with different powertrain, different suspension. We'll have a 200 horsepower um, GDI engine, turbo GDI engine with uh, a uh, dual clutch transmission, and we'll have uh, multi-link suspension. Um, so a, a really high performance enthusiast car, which is quite a bit different than this car. So um, yeah, we're excited about it. We'll continue to offer. Uh, a, a GT version for those that like uh, the hatchback and uh, yeah, we think we're gonna have some a little bit of something for everybody so uh, overall on top of that this year 2016 slash 17 is gonna be a very important year for you because you're la launching basically a new brand in the US absolutely we've been selling Genesis vehicles for about seven years now as individual models under the Hyundai nameplate and we've made a decision uh, to um, roll out a Genesis brand and, and that means we're going to expand the number of luxury models that we offer and, and we are going to build them under a Genesis nameplate. We're going to change to uh, alphanumeric naming structure so instead of Equus we're going to have a G90 yeah. instead of the, a Genesis sedan that'll be now a G80. 
Uh, we plan to come out with a uh, BMW 3 Series type of fighter that will be the G70. We've got a couple crossovers in the works um, and we've got a, a Genesis Coupe in the works. So all of those will basically over a five year period of time give us a total of six vehicles and we'll be in three segments that we don't currently play in right now. And we think we can double our volume um, in the luxury area and really build equity in the Genesis brand. That's amazing. Uh, you're going to be busy. <laughs> it's going to be a busy, be really busy year busy. for sure. sure. So uh, from the initial reaction that we saw at the auto show in Detroit, I mean, that car really, I mean, got a lot of attention and positive uh, comments. So uh, I can't wait to drive it. When's it's, that going to be? We're going to start building that in May. And I think we'll have you back for a, uh, a media event probably in um, mid-June or early July, something like that. Excellent. Thank you very much for your time. I really appreciate it knowing how busy you are. Great talking to you. Thank you. Thanks a lot.